level by level. So we're in like the first first part, mm -hmm. uh, which is uh, polynomial functions. Right. And then the second one is the rational. Uh, yeah, this is... part I have seen. This part I have seen. Yeah. So to open like to, to continue uh, with this uh, yeah. unit, we need to uh, we need to finish this. Okay. You okay. see, it's, uh, it's seen re uh, restricted. Okay. So we cannot open and like continue with this. We okay. need to finish uh, all the topics in this. Sure. So it, it's it's in twenty five hours, but it, it's not necessarily twenty five hours needed for this. It's like according to yourself. But then they told, um, it's like just a general time general. being given. Okay. So right now I've completed uh, one point one myself. Mm -hmm. And I've completed you see these, uh, it's like done, done, done. And okay. they've given me a an assignment. I've done that okay. myself. Okay. I think we have to continue from this, the graphs of polynomials. Okay. So uh here is there any video or we just start with the graphs of polynomials in any so, uh you want uh I watched the video, but I didn't quite admit, uh it's there here, but then I also have the presentation. Okay, yeah, you can show me the presentation. Yeah, yeah, this is it. So can you see? Yeah, I can see. Fine. Just a minute, sorry. How many slides are there in this? In this, it's uh, 13, it's 13. 13. Okay, let us see one by one uh, yeah. and I'll get an idea. One. Yeah. So this is the first one. Yeah, okay, third slide is this. It is a two x square plus seven x minus five, fine, got it, next slide. Okay, let us proceed. Fine, we can proceed. The behavior of zeros are also there. If n equal to 1, the graph will cross directly through the x-axis. And it is given a touch but not cross the x-axis. Okay. Can you come to the previous slide? Once? Yeah. What is n there? Previous to this? Okay, n is the number of factors actually. So if there is one factor, okay, let 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 let's come to next. This one. This one. Okay, let us come to next. This example, I think. Mm -hmm. x to the power of 4 and then x minus 3 okay and here is the x plus 1 x minus 2 to the power 5 okay okay let us proceed other scenarios this another one is can you yeah, I'm just going to say. You can read this out if you can see. Can you see now? X to the power 4 plus 1. Okay, I can see. And I think we should plot the graph. I didn't, I didn't understand how to plot the graph. The okay, I will tell you. I will tell you. No issue. Okay. Let us proceed further. And this is another video there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, no issue. This one. Odd function is that symmetrical about it. Okay. Proceed further. This is the odd function. Yeah. Okay. Proceed further. And graph. Okay. Yeah. Okay. No issue. 
proceed further and i think that's it that's it okay so uh, i will explain it to you it will how much time uh, do you need to for this these set of slides to be explained then you will do the assignments on your own or would you need my help uh, so i'll uh, right now i've been doing the assignment uh, but then i think if i have it out i'll ask you but then okay yeah and if we take the examples of the slides to explain the concept that yes, would sir. be that would be better i think and i will give my examples also okay okay so this is how we can do it so you keep this open when okay. i will ask you to share then you will share it okay okay and uh, when i will i will share whatever i will teach then you just note it down okay okay so now i am i will teach you a few things okay So can I stop sharing or? Yeah, it has automatically stopped because I okay. have, I okay. have shared now. So there are actually graphs are there and you have to have a basic idea of graphs. So I, I will tell you some basic idea about it. Suppose uh, if there is a linear graph like y is equal to 2x plus 3. So how we used to draw this type of polynomial function this is a linear linear polynomial or we call it monomial or uh, lin linear polynomial just like this so what you take you take suppose x value and you get y value suppose you take x0 you get y3 and you take x1 you get y5 so you plot it like this that this point is 0 comma 3 and this point next point is 1 comma 5 and you just draw a straight line because it is a linear so it will be a straight line now if factors are more so if you increase the factors like you take a graph which is 2 into the example was i'm taking a different example i don't remember that example right now I'm taking different example, 2x square minus 12x, and then it is plus uh, 10, let us suppose. So first you need to factorize it. So if you remember class 10th uh, maths little bit, how to we used to factorize first whatever common we can take, we can take that as common, like here you can take 2 as common so you take 2 common x square minus 6x plus 5 so next is to split the middle term so yeah so here you will do x square minus 5x minus x plus 5. This is how it will split because minus 5x minus x will give you minus 6x. Is it okay? Yes, sir. Then this will become 2 into x into x minus 5 minus 1 into x minus 5. And in the next step, 2 into x minus 5 common into x minus 1. So first we have factorized it. Now after of factorization we have to plot the zeros plotting zeros what are zeros actually zeros are the values where the polynomial is becoming zero so polynomial here is 2 into x minus 5 x minus 1 so here where it can become zero it can become zero at 5 or at it can become zero at 1 at these two points it can become zero because x minus 5 is one factor, x minus 1 is another factor. So we'll plot zeros. After plotting zeros, you can write this down, but first let me tell you. So we plot 1 and we plot 5. Now after doing this, 
since it is a quadratic this is a quadratic polynomial earlier polynomial was a linear this was of okay. two degree this is a two degree polynomial that is why it has two factors so it is a quadratic polynomial so in this case it would be a curve and it has two zeros so it will cut the x axis at these two points at these two zeros now how can it cut the x axis there are two ways the two zeros are there one and five so either it can cut it like this or it can cut it like this these are the two ways so one is called downward opening another one is called upward opening this is downward opening this is upward opening now how can we say that which which is in this one so that will be decided by the coefficient of x square coefficient of x square is 2 which is positive so if it is positive in case of quadratic then we take as upward opening if it is negative we take as downward opening so yeah. this will be a curve which will curve cut it at two points at two zeros and it will be upward opening so this is how we plot this graph of 2x square minus 12x plus 10. so this is of quadratic we will okay. take one more example first you can write this one from here you can write start writing yeah sir i wrote these okay Yeah, that's it. Okay. Now, suppose there is uh, another question here that y is equal to, um, let us take this time minus x square um, plus 7x. And then it will be minus 12. Let us suppose this one. So, can you try to factorize it here? Yes, sir. So is it minus x plus 3 and x plus 4? Minus x plus 3. That means you are getting it as minus x plus 3 and x plus 4. x plus 4, okay. Uh, no, you can't get this. 
first what you have to do because if you will multiply them now you won't get above polynomial so what yeah. you have to do is you have to actually take minus common and it will become x square minus 7x plus 12 then what you will do you will factorize it like this x square minus 3x minus 4x plus 12 like this and then you will write it as minus this will be x into x minus 3 minus 4 into x minus 3 so it will become minus x minus 3 common into x minus 4 so this will be minus x minus 3 into x minus 4 like this okay okay this is what we will get now what are the zeros here can you tell me what are the zeros uh is it plus three yes and plus four yes so you'll plot them on the x-axis so plus three would be somewhere here so four would be somewhere here. now if you want to plot this quadratic polynomial you will see that what is it the coefficient of x square can you it's tell what is one minus two. so will it be downward opening or upward opening it will be downward sorry downward. upward upward no no negative it is downward positive it is upward we saw now just right now here it was positive two so it was upward here so, it is minus one so it would so be, be downward yeah something like this so this okay. will be how it will be plotted so now you can be? now you can write this and share your slide okay Sir, so upward is positive yes. and downward is negative. Right. In case of quantitative polynomial. Yes. Are you sharing your slide? Oh, just a minute, I'm copying it down. Okay. So I think you should stop screen sharing. Okay. Okay. Yeah, now you can see this one. Here they are taking y equal to 0. So obviously you are getting x is equal to 3 by 2 and minus 5 by taking y 0. That is another way of explaining. It is same thing. Okay. You just see this question. They have not written the factorizing steps that you can write. You can okay. write 7x as 10x minus 3x, and then you can factorize.
So 10x minus 3x. Yeah. 7x will be 10x minus 3x. Because according to factorization method, what you will do, you will multiply 2 with minus 15, you will get minus 30. So 7 should be splitted in such a way that the multiplication should be 30 and it should be a subtraction. Okay. Yeah, I got 2x minus 3 and x plus 5, the same. Yeah. Now, what are the zeros? Uh, 3 by 2 and 5, minus 5. Yeah. So now you plot these two points on the x axis. Yeah. And since the coefficient of x square is 2, which is a positive value, so this will upward open. Okay. okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. So, okay. Now let us now it is clear. This slide is quite clear to you. Yeah. If there would so be a value minus minus that you can put x equal to zero and you'll get the value of y. Just put x equal to zero in that polynomial. Yeah. So 2x square will be 0, 7x will be 0. You will get minus 15 as y. That yeah, is yes. Okay. That is the point on the y-axis. Okay. So should we proceed? Yes, sir. A family of functions share characters just like we saw. In the last lesson, this one is the leading question a1 to a n are the x intercepts. So take the next slide. The power of each factor is called the multiplicity or order. Okay. X is the multiplicity of x equal to 2 is 3. So only the multiplicity of 0 is we are at that. Okay, fine. Let us come to the next slide. Behavior of zeros if n goes the graph will cross directly through the x axis when it's even a graph will touch but not cross the x axis of so a it's or n greater than equal to three. Okay. Okay. Now I will share. So now we have a polynomial function in general, like we can have x minus, uh, like we can have x minus 2 to the power 5 into x plus 1 to the power 3 into x plus 2, like this. So this is a polynomial function. And if you see this polynomial function, this is having a degree of 9. Why degree of 9? Because here the degree is 5, here degree is 3, here degree is 1. So 1 plus 3 plus 5, it is a 9 degree polynomial. So polynomial can be of any degree. Now we see how many repeating factors are there. As you can see here the order or multiplicity order or multiplicity of this factor is 1 because its degree is 1 power is 1 yeah. here the order or multiplicity is 3 here order or multiplicity is 5 now what happens if order is 1 this order is 1 and when you plot the zeros clearly the zeros are minus 2 2 and minus 1 these are the zeros as you can see here, so when you equate 
x plus 2 to 0, you will get minus 2. When you will equate x plus 1 cube to 0, you will get x is equal to minus 1. And you will equate x minus 2 to the power 5 to 0, you will get x is equal to 2. So these three zeros are there. These are the zeros which we plot. And each zero is corresponding to a factor. And that factor is having multiplicity. So these are the order or multiplicity of factors. Got it till here. Now, when the order is one, when n is equal to one, the curve simply crosses the graph, simply crosses the x-axis as it was written. You will again see it on the slide. It was written that when n is equal to one, the graph will simply cross the x axis as in both the above cases if you see here in both the quadratic polynomials which we just saw the multiplicity was one because here also it was x minus five to the power one and here x minus one to the power one so it just crossed here it also crossed here it also crossed similarly in second one so if multiplicity is one, it will just cross the x-axis. If multiplicity is two, it will not cross the x-axis. It will touch the x-axis. So it will touch and bounce back. So here I have not taken any multiplicity two. I will take in another example. And if multiplicity is odd and greater than equal to three, like three, five, seven, then it is called point of inflection. You don't have to be quite detailed in point of inflection, but I will give you an idea of point of inflection. So what you have to do, just let us see how the curve is being drawn here. So when you draw the curve, there are four regions. One region is this one. Another region is between minus two to minus one. Third region is between minus one to two and fourth region is after two. Between every zeros, there is a region. And also at the both ends, there are regions. Are you getting till here? Yes, sir. Now the rightmost region is positive here. So curve will come like this, that it is two like this. Okay. And at two, rightmost region is simply positive. Because the coefficient, which is actually k here, is 1. The yeah. coefficient is equal to 1. Okay, we will see if coefficient is negative, what will happen. But here it is positive. So the rightmost region will be above the x-axis. Positive. Now 2 is a value whose power is 5, which is odd and greater than equal to 3. So what will happen? The curve which is right now convex will become concave like this. What is convex and concave? As you see, let me see here. This is convex. This is yeah. concave. Convex upward. This is concave upward. So what we see that point of inflection is a point this word is very important here, point of inflection. Point of inflection is a point where the concavity and convexity changes. So if you see that the rightmost portion was convex and after crossing 2, it became concave. So that 2 is a point of inflection here. Now you come to minus 1. When you come to minus 1, it is power is 3. So it is odd and greater than equal to 3. So again, the point of inflection is minus 1. So it will change like this. Okay, to be more detailed, it is like this. Curve is coming this way, then becoming this way, and then again becoming this way. So it yeah. is convex then concave and then convex and at minus 2 the power is 1 so it is not a point of inflection 
So it will simply remain convex and cross this. So this is two, this is minus one, this is minus two, convex, concave, convex, and is still convex. Because minus two, the power is one, order or multiplicity is one. So it will simply cross the x-axis without changing the nature of the curve. Nature of the curve will change only if n is odd and n is greater than equal to 3. Like n is 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, these terms. So first write this one, then I will give one more example. Is this clear? Yes, sir. Search search based on the multiplicity or order, and then we plot it based on n equals one, or n equals two, and n equals uh, greater or three or number, right, sir? Yeah. Here okay. it is. In this case, it is two or any other even number. This example I will give you for even multiplicity. I have not given an example. I will give that example also. Yes, sir. I'm coming in two minutes. Just write this two. Yeah, yes, sir, yes. Sir, so if, for example, it's uh, even or two, right? So it'll just touch it and pass by it. Yeah. It won't if, pass if this, no, no. If it is even or two, that means two, four, six, eight, anything. I just wrote two there. Actually, yeah. it is even. Then it okay. will touch the graph x-axis and bounce back. Okay. Yeah. That example I will show just now. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. So I'm taking another example here. What am I doing in this example? That polynomial function px is minus 3 x plus 2 into x minus 1 to the power 4 into x plus 5 to the power 3, let us suppose. And then I'm plotting the zeros. So zeros here are minus 5 and 1 and minus 2. These are the zeros. So first of all, we'll see the regions. 1 region, 2 region, 3 region, 4 region. We'll start from the rightmost region. So rightmost region will here be uh, starting from below the x-axis because the coefficient here, minus 3, is negative. Yes, sir. So when we'll start the graph, we'll start from below the x-axis. Oh, oh, one second. 
here. It will be like this. Now at one, what will happen? We'll see the multiplicity at one. What is the multiplicity at one? It is? Oh, that is four. So it four. will uh, bounce. Yeah, it will bounce back. So it will just oh. come back where it was. At minus two, as we can see that uh, it's uh, one. one. So it will cross it. Now how it yeah. will cross it? So we will do one thing here. It was coming like this. It will bounce back. And then at minus two, it will pass through. It will simply pass through. It will make it more better. When final comes, it becomes better. Initially, we have to keep adjusting. Oh, I think so. I understood it's fine. It's so this is like this then it goes like this now it comes to minus 5 minus 5 it is 3 so here the uh, nature of the curve will change so when you will come to minus 5 it is convex to concave so this is how we can finally draw this. Sir, so in odd, it will change. It will pass two as well, right? Yeah. In odd, it will change. If odd is one, then it will not change. It will simply pass through. But if odd is greater than or equal to three, then it will change and pass through both. Okay. And if n is even, it will bounce back. Okay. And one more thing, the coefficient of all the factors, which is multiplied here, decide that the rightmost region will start from below the x-axis or above the x-axis. As in the previous one, our coefficient was 1. So it is yeah. started from above the x-axis. Now here it is from below the x-axis. Okay. We can do that, okay? And come before that. Okay. Yeah, okay. So now you can share your slide. I'm stop. I'm stopping. Yeah, my share. Okay, so let us start from before this. Yeah. And what was before this? Was there something? Yeah. yeah, from here, families of functions. So a family of functions share characteristics, just like we saw in the last lesson. These type of factors are there, where k is the leading coefficient, as we saw in the example. First it was 1, then it was minus 3. And a1 through an are the x-intercepts, which we call the zeros, right? Yeah. Next slide. 
This the power the of each factor is called the multiplicity or order. So as you can see here that <coughs> x minus s is 2 times and x minus t is 3 times. So it is x minus s to the power 2 and x minus t to the power 3. So the multiplicity CT of the x is equal to s is 2. The multiplicity of x is equal to t is 3, right? Yeah. Knowing the multiplicity of a 0 tells us a lot about behavior at that C. Now let us move to the next slide. <coughs> now this is the same thing as we were discussing. If the multiplicity is 1, the graph will cross directly through the x-axis. If you can just read this, if you will have doubt, then you can ask. Okay. No, I think I wrote this the same thing. Okay. No, Any doubt? No doubt? No doubt, sir. Okay. Next slide. So here the graph you can see, the first graph and then the next graph. And you can ask if you have, just try to absorb what is there. Sir, uh, in the second one, uh, yeah. point two is a coefficient, right? Minus point two. Yeah, so that's minus point two. So it'll start with the bottom below. Yeah, below the x axis. The rightmost okay. region will start from the below the x axis. Yeah. Yeah. And I've then got this, it, then it is crossing two. So from convex to concave, it changed. Is it clear now? While crossing two, it changed from concave to con convex to concave. Okay. It was like uh, bulging downwards to bulging upwards. Yes, sir. And then at minus two, it uh, at minus one, it simply crossed. Minus one. It just passes through because yeah. it's keeping yeah. the convexity same. Okay. Let us come to the next slide. So here, one thing you will have to do, you have to, I will explain this one. Just see, okay. not see the first one. First one I will explain. Okay. See the next one also I will explain. One second. Okay. Come to the next slide. Now I think we should. Oh, for sure. Okay, let us come back to the previous slide. Okay, so this is 3x minus 5, 2x square plus 6 plus 2. I should write it somewhere, otherwise, when I will explain, I may forget. So it is 3x minus 5 into 2x square plus 3x plus 2. Okay, and another one is x to the power 4 plus 1. Okay, now I will share. So what is happening now is that the first example is polynomial px is equal to 3x minus 5 into 2x square plus 3x plus 2. Now, first one is clearly 5 by 3. The 0 from here is 
5 by 3. And order of this one is 1. What about second one? Can you factorize it? This is a quadratic. Can it be factorized into two linears? Yes, I think we can. No, here we cannot. Because it is not possible everywhere. Why? Because if you see the discriminant of this one, b square minus 4ac, if you remember class 10, there was something called discriminant. Yeah. Do you remember? Yeah. Yes, sir. So discriminant here is 3 square minus 4 into 2 into 2, which is 9 minus 16, which is minus 7, which is less than 0. So it has no real roots. Okay. So you can't factorize. Okay. In such situation, it does not give any zero. If you can't factorize, it can't give any zero. So this next one is a quadratic polynomial, but it can't give any zero. So if you plot in such situation, what you will do, you have only one zero. That is 5 by 3. No other zero. This zero you will plot here. But, say, but since this is a quadratic, so if you see at x is equal to 0, what is the value of the polynomial? It is minus 10. You put just x is equal to 0, you'll get the value of the polynomial minus 10. So this is minus 10 here. Now from some idea, you can say that this is a quadratic. And uh, quadratic is a curve. And this curve would be, since coefficient is 1, here it is 1. So it will start from the upward region. And it would be something like this. You cannot draw the exact curve because for that you need calculus. So you can just, a uh, rough diagram, you can say that it is crossing through minus 10. And it is also crossing through 5 by 3. And it is a curve. And one more thing. Do you know some of something calculus? Some something about no, not much. So uh, exact curve, even if you can't draw, you can say one thing that uh, here this is starting from the. You can see like this, suppose that this is going to just start from here. It is going like this. Yeah, roughly we can say like this. This is going yeah. like this, and then it is going this way. Or we can also say that this is going like this. Going like this. No, not this thing. That one is the better one. So that diagram, can you see what the slide you have? Is this the same graph which you have in the slide? Or so something? that's uh, after passing through 5 by 3, there's a concave and then Oh. Okay, okay, got it, got it, got it. That means they have done this. That uh, mm, have they done like this? No, no, sir. It's like uh, it's a straight line through five by three. Okay. And then it goes down, uh, there's a concave, and then it goes upwards towards minus 10. It passes through minus 10, and then there's a convex, and then it goes down. Can I, uh, can I draw it? Yeah, something, yes, yes, yeah. This. Oh, this is not a straight line. This is still a curve. This is a curve like this. It seems like a straight line. Okay. okay. So exact, you can't draw unless you can have just the idea here because this curve, which is this below part, na, this part is coming because of 
quadratic nature of the other factor. But this quadratic nature of the other factor is giving no real roots. So that is why it is not intersecting. Like if only 2x square plus 3x plus 2 was given, and you are asked to draw this. So this is x axis, this is y axis. So this graph would go like this. This yeah. graph would either go like this. No, this graph would go like this. This graph would go like this as it yeah. is upward opening. But since 3x minus 5 is multiplied to it, so it has shifted downwards, just mirror image like this. And then because of 3x minus 5, it further changed the curvature and became yeah. concave upward. So you yes, can't sir. exactly right now draw it because it needs a calculus. I don't think in your uh, uh, assignments it would be needed anywhere. You just have to have an idea that uh, this type of situation may also arise where the quadratic may not be get factorized and then you have no real roots. And in that situation, the only the factor part will have the real root, which is the linear here. And that will be the intercept. Yeah. So just write this down. So, but then after this one, I do have calculus. Not in this one, but then separately. You have? Calculus, calculus vectors. Calculus you have? Yeah. Separately. Yes. So, have you done it? Uh, yes, I'm doing that as well. But it is not in this uh, course, right? No, 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 no. That's a that's the second course. This is this this is different. And it is different. not related to that course. No, no, it's not. It's not. So yes, it is not applied here. Yeah, done, sir. Okay. Another one was not so challenging. It was that x to the power 4 plus 1. Px is equal to x to the power 4 plus 1. So here, simple thing was that you can't factorize this. You can't factorize. Because again, same thing. It has no real root. Though it is power. Because what it means? Four, x to the power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. x to the power 4 is equal to minus 1. Uh, even power cannot give you a negative value. Okay. So uh, this is not possible. So it cannot be factored. Now, how can you draw it? So x to the power 4 graph, if you see px is equal to x to the power 4 graph, it is having a 0, 0. 0 as the only 0. And the power is even. It is even multiplicity and x minus 0 to the power 4 form this is. So 0 is the 0. So it will just touch the x axis at x is equal to 0 and go up. up. This is px is equal to x to the power 4. Now this another one is x to the power 4 plus 1. So this is just shifting. You have shifted x to the power 4 by 1 unit above it. Just parallel to it. So this point is. 0, 1. And this is the graph px is equal to x to the power 4 plus 1. Got it? Yes, sir. Yeah, done, sir. Okay. So now you can share. Yeah. I'm stopping. So after this, we have no. this one. This one. 
so this is okay next next one just show yeah even on so let us come to previous one i'm writing this and i would suggest that first you will draw it then i will discuss it so i'm writing this question however so over 2x into x plus 1 square into 3 minus 2x cube okay just try it you can see how they have done some manipulation so that yeah. it can be in the standard form 